Hello everyone, myself Anmol Kumar alongside with our deputy head boy Pranit Kashyap. We both are from 12th standard PCM section and we got a chance to visit IIT Delhi on the 25th of July due to the help of our principal ma'am Ms. Shari Nambiar and that was a wonderful experience. So Pranit, speaking about experience, what was your expectation beforehand, like before going to the trip, what were you had in plan or what was your expectation for the... My expectations were to another level because for going there uh, in the science batch one exam was conducted mm. and that exam was of like J means level mm. and we passed that exam and we went there so I yeah. was like that was a blessing in disguise moment mm-hmm. I am sure you also must have felt yeah, proud the when questions you... were tricky right the yeah. moment I attempt a question I felt like something spicy in yes, it yes and, and the moment I get the answer I feel like yes at least one yeah. but I did something and the event was on Tuesday and we were told <coughs> that we are selected on Monday and on yeah. Monday we were like bro When's the result coming out? We need no, to no. know. Monday was the result out and yeah. we were like, In the last period. how can yeah, we be selected? <laughs> and although it was a very good feeling to get selected amongst the top students of our school. Hmm. And when we went there, my expectations were like, we will be greeted and we will be having a campus tour of the whole hmm. IIT Delhi. And basically, I just went there to have a photo on the main... Which, IIT Delhi, yeah. yeah where photo, people photo. just... Uh, hmm. do their scholarship or graduation yeah. ceremony which they blow off and yeah, <coughs> yeah. how was your experience I really want to know personally speaking I couldn't sleep on the Monday night I was <laughs> like yeah, IIT I'm going on IIT I have to visit these these labs I will see the campus I will like get to interact with the top thousand student of yeah. IIT Delhi right like AIR one rank might be somewhere there Yeah, I and might get to interact with him the professors who are teaching these geniuses yeah. We will get to interact with them and that's something which kept me whole night. And Speaking then, of professor, yeah, SK Sasar, sir. Yeah, yeah that the man was something else. When we were greeted with the from the Rancho Labs, that introduction of the professor was going on. And when his introduction was going on, I like he had done BTEC from NIT, Masters from IIT and PhD from Canada. So I expected that this person will be carrying a bit attitude in himself. Yeah, because suited we expect, up man, right? Yes, will be a suited up man. And when he came into the room, just like a normal person, <coughs> I thought, okay, ye koi aur hai. but then I came to yeah. know that, oh, he's the man he's which the man, we were talking yeah. about. Then he started his lecture. First of all, knowing after he knew that, okay, this all is the science batch, he asked us the question, what is the second law of motion? I answered and that <laughs> and I answered in a bit of hurry. I just said rate of change of momentum yeah. and I got scolded for that. Yeah, And he then showed us how <laughs> marks are given in a very particular way Yeah, on this particular question. So that and he, also, also, yeah, he also taught us that the marks are only limited to a point after that your skills which yes. will come uh, from what you have learned, right? Yeah. That will carry you forward. Yeah, and one thing which he was repeatedly <coughs> talking about was unemployment. Yeah, unemployment. The which, reason unemployment is yes. being because of the marks, right? The marks shows that, oh, you are scoring good, means yeah. you are smart. And then people and think that, okay, I can get a job, but they're not yes, getting... The job is skill, based on the skill set skill, and skill we set. are not taught that. Yes. So particularly, he highlighted this main issue that, mm. okay, if you are scoring good, I was the only person who said that why do he asked why do we study so I said marks and yeah. he was like marks no. kaise pad sakte ho tum aise? he was no. like he just said no no and okay then he explained us the whole procedure yeah. what went what goes on behind selecting a person for a job yeah for the interviews like what yes. the interview officer like or the person is sitting over yeah. there uh, asking right from yeah. the candidates and that skill set which we are not taught <coughs> that is expected from us that we mm. do apart from our academics and yeah. I really like those children who do these things apart from like the I academic am, stuff yeah. right I'm sure like we both aren't targeting IIT JE yeah and he is targeting NDA, NDA also, and I am targeting IP Mat as well as NDA so we both are were yeah, working, right? double excited ki okay we so, are just going we will know uh, we will tell our peers chalo hum hoke to aage yeah and now I feel like that it's a beautiful experience for me because now I get to know right the marks are only limited to a point right yeah. so if I need to get into NDA or IIT or anywhere I just need to focus on the skill right if I get yeah. the skill marks are eventual yeah. But the main thing is skill, right? Because after that, skill has to carry me. Yeah, and when we were, we visited four labs. Yeah, four Our labs. visit in four labs and there we came to know that students were, students had the liberty to make anything. Yeah, and the we were greeted by students only. There was no professor or any teacher who was guiding students. The students were free to create whatever they like. 
they have their textbooks in which all the things are written about the labs how to use this stuff and that and they're doing it on their own the lab was open for everybody yeah we could just go in open the <coughs> gate go inside discover yeah. what we can and they were like developing a machine which we could like so many things were there yeah. and that of was of a phd level so we both felt a yeah. bit asleep between the lectures because mechanical engineering is something like which is yeah. going out of our head like bouncer first, first of all it was mechanical engineering and first of all and after that it was of phd level phd level right that was not a very first year thing and yeah, yeah so. and also i need to praise all those students who were creating those stuff because like after passing iit after completing all the syllabus yeah. of like you know after that they went for the phd direct and they're doing that stuff right Yeah. Not even like to a point to do it for themselves, but to a point to teach others because they were yeah. teaching us also. Yes. Python and different other language, C plus plus, yeah. which we get to know, right? And I also <coughs> felt that we expect that if we go into IITs and big colleges, we all mm. only have to have that pressure of studies. Mm. I asked, I asked those people there, the students, students there. Right. So they were like, we have time, we have classes still. at this some point this of time, time right. and then we have time for ourselves also then we have time for the societies and clubs also so there were things what the time management was like something yeah. above right which we had today like which we are facing right now the time yeah. management issue I they didn't have that yeah i to face a lot but one thing i really want to ask you on more is that do you feel that <coughs> with the incoming of ai which we hmm. everyone is talking about do hmm. you feel that these things like mechanics mechanic apart from mechanical engineering hmm. different prospects and domains of science will they be viable in future or not uh i personally think they will be viable in the future because they are the basic tools required to create those high ai right so we cannot move forward without like you know taking the first step so yeah. as now we are now we visit to the iit lab for example we went to the swarm lab right the, yeah. the bhaiya was like actually creating like a code from which he can control the four different robots yeah. right four different drones in future there might be some other different language or something like tool which will appear but that tool will appear because of that bhaiya's like coding right he did yeah. that earlier now he knows how to do it so he can do a tool he can create a tool or something like that which would help others i really wanted to hear this answer i think because mm. i used to <coughs> when i used to introspect mm -hmm. and i used to feel that yaar ai to sab कुछ कर जाएगा वट डिफरेंट शुड आई डू कि आई एम दैट मच स्किल्ड इन द अपकमिंग फ्यूचर जनरेशन दैट ओके पीपल स्टिल हैव माई वैल्यू दिस थिंग आई लर्न विद चंद्रयान ऑल्सो वेन चंद्रयान वॉज लॉन्च आई वॉज रीडिंग आन आर्टिकल ऑन फिन शॉर्ट्स दैट दैट पर्सन सेट दैट द लॉन्चिंग ऑफ चंद्रयान has opened <coughs> that cultural prospect of india hmm. that people will now more and more be interested in taking up the stem culture yes, and will now be you. open to hmm. be in those fields of research and phd so that they get there and they make those yeah this would motivate multiple right uh, apart from others like the 11th standards who visit, who saw us visiting to iit delhi now they are also keen on going to iit delhi or any other iit or any other colleges next year or whenever they get the opportunity after seeing them the junior batch will also open up to this and yeah. after as you said chandran 3 right chandran 3 opened up the uh, media for many other people yeah. now the people are keen to get into the astrophysics now the people are keen to get into the pcm and that's something yeah. which would open up many options for us humans yeah that i when i first came across <coughs> this idea of stem mm -hmm. the stem culture science technic technology engineering and maths i was like a bit confused ki chal kya raha but mm -hmm. when i you know when you research and when you open the books and when you visit the things which you think aren't right you mm -hmm. come across many various different domains and you realize <coughs> that what you think is not true yeah so i have a question for you pranit right we just talked about like the best part which we faced uh, during the iit trip now i want to talk to you a learning which you faced during the iit trip my learning will be like as you said that the basics will be still there yeah. and my learning was this only that that guy who was doing phd there he was like very subtle person if you will see him you will like <coughs> you also that green t-shirt guy yeah yeah the, that yeah, person was looking boy. like okay bhai i just want to sleep yeah that yeah, person yeah. had that much mentality but that like the, the mindset of that boy was mm -hmm. like he was explaining us the how drone work you yeah. must have seen in ipl they fly drones of different different pitches yeah yeah before the finals animations yeah, yes. before the finals right. how they are done how mm -hmm. all those drones are controlled we yeah. learned that we learned that actually And right you said that okay the basics will re still remain there mm. even if ai comes and 
for developing ai we mm. first need to have those basics basics right so i learned this by going there and i would also like to say that uh, they were like multiple like bhaiya like they all have completed like their uh, courses right so they showed us that to explore in life right they were exploring in lab they were creating yeah. multiple stuff to explore in life you need to have your basics clear the basics were clear that's why we went to the labs and we could see that what they are creating and what they are uh, making right the creativity is coming into the play uh, if only their basics were clear so that's something which i learned to get a strong read on our basics and there is something which i can explore to yeah and i am thankful to you anmol to have me here to discuss this wonderful topic Hi, it and, was my pleasure right yeah. but we should be thankful to our principal ma'am ms shalini yes. nambia thank you ma'am thank you ma'am help us so and help thank us. you for the lunch which we got that was yeah, very good yeah the lunch good. was tasty very good uh, we should mention we the lunch we were looking forward to that on yeah. the whole trip thank uh, you so much thank you so much thank you so much anmol